kind of goodies do we have here? Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Mm, I recommend this one. And I'm so full. Hey guys, welcome back to another Destination Sweet Eats. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mara and I like to make food and travel content along with my husband, Chris. If you haven't been following along on our Japan adventures, check out our Japan playlist so you can catch up on all the fun, but most importantly, the food. Also, consider subscribing so you can stay up to date on our latest destinations. Now, the last time you caught up with us, we decided to leave the bustling city of Tokyo behind and jumped onto the next bullet train towards Kyoto instead, where we let our inner kids out at Toy Studio Park. We ate our way through most of the concession stands which shine bright in comparison to the theme park food back home. Gold teeth and my gold lipstick. Then trekked through the back streets of Kyoto on a failed mission to find some Dragon Ball toys for the kids. Oh, $148. Eighth floor. Oh my god. Not used to all this walking, I ditched my shoes for some orthotic slippers and toe socks which were lifesavers. But today, thanks to jet lag, we were up before the sun with fresh feet and an empty belly ready to take on our next Kyoto adventure. So let's go. Even the bus stops are smart here. It has an LED screen, tells you when it's coming, where it's going. Unfortunately, we missed the first bus that would take us towards our next destination, but we were still early enough to enjoy the quiet streets and cool morning air before the crowds came rolling in. Unknowingly, we came across one of Kyoto's most famous streets, Ninenzaka. I knew I'd get caught up in the beauty that was this street, so I made sure I didn't get too carried away in this perfect picture-taking spot. Can we just shade this for a moment? We hurried along towards Kiyomizudera Temple. We've seen how crowded this place can get, so we wanted to make sure we got here early so we could take our time and enjoy the scenic views. I mean, just look at the trees here. This is so serene. Look at the details. Oh, come over here, babe. Oh my God, there is a step there. Yes, we don't want you tumbling onto... Oh, it kind of bends down. Wow, look at that down there. The temple itself was a stunner, but what was even more impressive was the gorgeous views from the viewing deck, which was surprisingly empty. I could sit here and just admire this all day long. And look at the city down there, how small it is. I mean, have you ever seen the deck this empty? So our recommendation, if you want to enjoy Q Mizudera like we did, get up early before the tour buses arrive and just take in the calm, peace, and serenity of the morning. And of course, the stunning views. And the empty deck was such a beautiful sight. I was very surprised to see that, and I would not want to be standing on that deck amongst hundreds of other people. Look how clean the water is. You were standing on that. There is more to see than just the temple. There is a little walking trail which will take you through the gardens and through other little worship or temple areas. Just chilling up there. But with all the hustle and bustle of traveling we've been doing for the past few days, it was really nice to kind of take a step back, relax, and just kind of make our way through these gardens with no crowds, no people, and just get all in and finally relax. So we headed back towards the Ninizaka area to find Starbucks. Starbucks Kyoto Ninizaka is the world's first Starbucks store in a traditional Japanese house called Amachia and the first Starbucks with traditional tatami seating. If you'd like to see our experience at the Starbucks, I'll leave it linked in the description below. The Ninenzaka area is famous for its gentle sloping street which is a popular spot to experience what life was like in Kyoto before Western and modern influences settled into Japan. Being on this street made us really feel like we traveled back in time to classic Japan downside of coming early is everything's closed but actually it's really nice because there's hardly anyone here so the streets are empty and it's just calm and beautiful relaxing, relaxing. a lot of people getting married and having their photo shoots done here well don't mind if we do too there are many more temples and beautiful roads in the area that we could have explored but we are starting to get hungry heading back into the city we are entering into Hanami Koji. I love these little lanterns. Hanami Koji is one of the best preserved historic districts in Kyoto, where there are shops, restaurants, and sometimes geisha. Hopefully, things open soon so we can try some food. Food. 
It's still early though. But since it was quite early, we only got to enjoy the quiet empty street. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Flowers. The azaleas are just in full bloom. Oh my gosh. Look at this. There's some sakura left. I think it's sakura. No, it's not sakura. But it's still pretty. Look at that. Look at this gray. Unknowingly, we stumbled across the Philosopher's Path, which is a stone path lined with hundreds of cherry blossom trees, which makes it the city's most popular hanami or cherry blossom viewing site. That is magical. Too bad we were a little too late to see these famous blooms. We are back at Teramachi. Desserts. Oh my goodness, look. Oh my gosh. Look at that huge one up there. Restaurant Star is a big om omelet on the top. One of those families. As you can tell, we were getting pretty hungry, but we had to save our appetite for the main event. You know, we just walked past this ABC yesterday. So we literally walked past it. We didn't even realize it. Oh, they're still opening up. They're putting their charcoals out. Maybe they're just not quite open yet. Oh, the people are sitting inside eating. <gasps> wow, look how big those strawberries are. <gasps> Oh, there's the lights. This is dragon fruit. What? And they got mango. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to come back here and try. How much are they? Let's see. Oh, they're right. The prices are right there. Hello. Okay. We're going to have to come back and get a Mekon. Okay. This across the way is where we want to be. Look at these fruits. Oh, look. They have the three colors. They have the pink, red, and the white. Oh. Look at these ice cream. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing in here. Nishiki Market is a narrow five block long shopping street lined with more than 100 shops and restaurants known as Kyoto's Kitchen. Oh my goodness. Turban shell. What is this? Wow. Look how big this shrimp is. So we're here in our first stop at Nishiki Market. This is a little stall that has like scallops and and all that and we wanted to give the buttered scallop a try so so excited we got our beeper we're just waiting for it to come out but that didn't stop me from wandering around looks so good pancake butter and onko yes please so i decided to get this taiyaki which is, has onko and butter inside so number one. Ooh, look at that so this is the butter scallop butter scallop this was eight dollars Good. Buttery goodness. Very buttery. Worth it? I think so. I got it. It's melting. Oh my god, that was a mistake. Ugh. I need two hands for this. I think I got it. Okay. This is the butter uncle. I know, yeah. It's like, oh, it's everywhere. And you know, I don't like messy food. Ooh. That was a really different texture. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Really good though. Mmm, I recommend this one. So good. This is actually surprisingly good with the butter. It balances that sweetness of the onko, which isn't that sweet at all, but it's really good. It's like a buttery toast with onko. Just remember to bring some wet wipes with you. Mmm, it's really good. You gotta try this, babe. Right? The butter just gives it that richness, that creaminess. It's not dry at all. I recommend getting this one. It's so good. Now this is brilliant marketing genius. This store, you would not know from the outside what they sold, but they were giving out samples of hot tea, but they told you to enjoy it inside the store, which gets you into the store to see all the goods that they were selling. And boy, did it work. Yeah? This is a really cool store. To be honest, I don't think I would have walked in here if it wasn't for that tea sample. That does taste good. What is that? Oh, dry plum. Is that cranberries? This tea is really good. And there were more free samples in here. Mm. How's the cranberry? Is it like um, nihing? Good. Or dry plum. Oh, dry plum. Try one of these. Mmm. You're right. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Is it fruit? Mmm. This melon. This melon is amazing. That tastes really good too. I've never had candy dried tomato and this was so good. Find this store. The dried fruit in here is amazing. Come here. 
at this crab skewer nigiri tempura. How does that work? Is it on rice? Dried yuba wrapped shrimp and yam. Wow, I don't know which one to get. We had a hard time deciding, but Chris loves scallops and I have a thing for fish cake, so we ordered those. Mm. Juicy. Juicy? Mm -hmm. Is it better than the other one? No, I like the butter one. The yeah. other one better? Yeah, but... That has show but you... This is, this is like bigger. Like yeah, bigger. definitely bigger. And cheaper too. This was 600 yen. Mm. The other one was 800. Oh, wow. Well, different flavor. Mm. It's sweeter. Okay, so this is the crab nigiri. I'm not sure it's... This is just a fish cake. Itadakimasu! Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. This is so good. It's like a fish cake. But it has like salt on top. Wow. Very unexpected. Not sweet at all. I like this. It tastes like almost like eating a shrimp chip, but really soft. Mmm. Get this. It's so good. Oh my god. This is what I smell. This is roasted tea. Look at that. How is this being roasted there? It so, smells so good. Okay, we stopped off at this little shop here. With all these little mochis in the front. And we're gonna try my first Ichiko Daifuku of the trip. How pretty this is! Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna get dig into this. Ooh, and the ang is a little sweeter. With that strawberry, oh my god, it's so good. Good, good. Sweet. but a little yeah. tangy, yeah. That's yeah, right, actually. Candy hand with the sweetness. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness, look at these strawberries. Those look amazing. Dashi kamago. Oh my goodness. It looks like so much though. There's a rolled chicken thigh. You want to try that? Doesn't it look like something from Spirited Away? <laughs> look at that. Ah, it's so good. This is a rolled chicken thigh. Looks super juicy. Mmm. Good. This tastes like um. Show you chicken. Show you chicken? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, look how big this is. This is a huge piece of meat. It was seven dollars, but kind of worth it. I mean, look at that. Eat the Mmm, you're right. It does taste like shoyu chicken, but it's so tender. It's not super salty at all. It's like just perfectly cooked. Mmm, this is so good. You know mm. be good with? Rice. Rice and mac salad. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I like eating it yeah. on the stick like this better. Yeah. This is so good. Mmm. If you see the rolled chicken thigh at New Chic Market, I highly recommend it. It's big enough to share, yeah. and it's just so good. Mm. This is the shop where we got it from. It's right on the corner on one of the streets like this is the public driving street and then this way is nishiki it's like on the corner so yummy this is getting quite dangerous because there's so many things i want to try here after eating our rolled chicken thigh by the way that one yes eat that one so good but right across here they have fish cake so we're gonna give this place a try the rest of that look. They have, yeah, lotus root, sweet potato, burdock, red ginger cheese, onion, cuttlefish, octopus. Okay, I got the lotus root fish cake, I guess. Mm. 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 So good. I've been wanting to eat fish cake like this since we got here 
finally got to do it, Mishiki Market. This is so good. They have a bunch of different ones, but we just chose this one because I like lotus food. Mm. If you want to eat on dinner, mm -hmm. some soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah. Ah, I love street food. Mmm, so good. Sea urchin. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh, this is takoyaki. We're gonna take a quick break from eating and just kind of make our way down to the end and see what we want to come back for. But takoyaki and egg omelet is definitely on our list. We will circle back. And just when we said we were taking a break, we found a few stalls down here. Fried tempura, crab fish cake, which is what we had earlier. Oh my goodness. Unagi. Look, they have more scallops, but there's like three on a stick, babe. Seems like the further in you go, the better the deals get. Look at that. Oh my God. We gotta come back. We gotta come back. Ah. Abalone. So we decided to get some takoyaki at this place here. These cute little octopus lanterns. The nagi is our favorite, but there's other types too. Takoyaki. Takoyaki. This is the nagi mayo. Very hot. Or mayo. It's gonna burn my mouth. Oh, spin it around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look. Good? Fresh. It's better than the Hawaii. <laughs> really? Better than the Hawaii one? Well, this is the one we had in here. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully, it's cool enough where I don't burn my mouth. Ducky Mouse. Mmm. Well, it's so good. Definitely better than back home. The inside is really creamy, outside nice and crunchy, almost like a skin. Inside has like the taco inside. And at this moment, I knew I screwed up. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That was a mistake. That's sweet. That was so hot. Ooh, I don't know if our tummies are ready for that yet. Oh, they have a little Snoopy cafe. Look at this, they have Snoopy yaki. So cute. Oh, and look at the desserts. Oh, maybe we'll have to come back to this one. This is so adorable. Oh, this is so cute. Can you believe that? Oh, I can't even like fathom eating anymore. I'm so full. Wow. Eat now. These, oh my god, these oysters are huge. Look how big that guy is. He's bigger than my hand. Sea urchin. And they got sashimi back there. Look how big that shrimp tempura is. It's as long as my hand. That looks so good. And look, they have a rolled omelet burger. Oh yeah, look at those egg sandals. That looks so good. Look at them making it here. We're approaching the last row of Nishiki Market and we've eaten our way through it. There's a little gyoza place. Oh look, it's a bakery in here. That's pretty cool. Hello. Look at him, he's so big. We made it to the end of Nishiki Market. I am so full. There are still a few stalls that I want to check out, so we're gonna make our way back that way to see if we're gonna free up any space by then, but I think we ate enough for one day. <laughs> Definitely worth checking out Nishiki Market. There's so many different stalls, so much different food. Come here if you have a chance. This is the cutest asahi bean. Oh, it's so cute. It's like as long as my finger. <laughs> And even though we were full, there was still room for one last stop. Mini squid, steamer, and then a little tiny little asahi just to wash it down. And she just torched it like Good. Good? Is it salted or anything? What's on the inside? Is it stuffed with something? Or that's just his insides? Oh, he's, it's a, it's a female? I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know. 
crazy part is we shared everything pretty much and I'm so full. But then when you get to it. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> and after all that food it was time for a little walking and we headed over to the Pokemon Center. Hey guys we're here at the Pokemon Center in Kyoto. Let's go check it out. Let's see what kind of cool stuff they have. Aww. So cute. So cool. Oh look. This is what I wanted to get. One of these. Look at the socks. Look at this. Oh, he's so cute. His little cheeks. His little nose. Wow. Look, they're like little stuffed animals attached to it. Oh, and it sticks up above your shoe. They even have this red guy. Look how adorable that is. So look, they have a little high tea plate set. Look like a baby food. Aww. And they got little pokeballs here. These would make great Christmas ornaments. <laughs> oh, so cute. Little clips. Of course, the only thing we bought was some cards for the kids. That car just came out of an elevator. And it's spinning. <laughs> So we heard that Hawaii chef Chris Kajioka was opening a restaurant in Kyoto so we had to go check it out since we were right around the corner. Of course they're not open yet but hopefully one day we'll get to try it out. Looks nice. For dinner we hit up a nearby train station because we were in the mood for some tonkatsu. Mm, we both ordered the Kuro Buta set, which is a pork tonkatsu, and it came with a set meal of miso soup, salad, some pickled vegetables, and I ordered a side dish. fresh cabbage salad with the goma dressing. I don't know what it is about Japanese cabbage, but it, there's no better taste. It tastes amazing. And I finally got to have my shrimp tempura. Yeah. If you made it this far into the video, put a little shrimp tempura emoji in the comments below. And this little pinwheel was just everything. I couldn't help myself. Found it right above our heads. <laughs> Tower. Hey guys, man, it was a long day today. I think my body finally has adjusted to the time difference. I don't feel as tired. My feet have finally adjusted, thank goodness. It's like when you go to Japan, you think, oh, I gotta wear shoes, but my feet are happy in slippers. I guess it's the Hawaii girl in me. <laughs> so socks and slippers it is for the rest of this trip, unless otherwise needed, I guess. My muscles still hurt a little because, I mean, we're not used to doing that much walking every day. And I swear, if my thighs are not thighs of steel and they're still thunder thighs when I get back, I did something wrong in Japan. <laughs> we're thinking about going back up to the Kyoto streets to see it at night, but tonight is supposed to be thunderstorms and rain. So we were like, well, we'll just call it a night and take it easy. And so we came back early to the hotel took a shower. So the day before we stopped off at um, the market and bought some food and this is the Costello cake I picked up from one of the vendors. I saw people walking around eating it so I wanted to give it a try and let me just open it up here. It's a huge cake. I mean it's a lot. 
you know. I was hoping they had like a smaller piece, but they didn't. This is all they had. So the top of the cake is stamped like this. So we're gonna give this a try. It's that mouse. Mmm. That's a yummy fluffy cake. Even though it's like a day old because I bought it yesterday. We didn't have time to eat it because we were on the go this morning. Man, this is good. Super soft, fluffy. Mmm. Would have been better hot, but it is what it is. Still good. Great dessert after a long day of walking. Oh my god. One of my favorite things to do, stop off at all the bakeries and like just try something, you know? Especially the train stations. They have these beautiful strawberry parfaits and cakes and you just want to like eat them all. They so, look so good and beautiful. They make bread so good here and the best part is you can eat a lot of bread. I felt like I didn't eat anything because we did so much walking and it was totally worth it. But if you're in Japan and you see a bakery, just stop in. Get a few for the roll, leave it in your bag. You'll eat it eventually, especially when you come back to the room at night and eat like this, like a little evening snack. We were up so early that even at lunch, we eat at the off times and then dinner, we eat at like three o'clock with all the blue hairs. <laughs> but that's okay, because you know, that means we can eat dessert, right? Dessert, but anyway. Thanks so much for joining me on my trip to Kyoto and we'll see you next time. Oh, there. It's hot. That smells amazing. Well, that's a bummer. I didn't know you needed reservations. Oh, look at this trellis. Beautiful. Did you do it again? Not today. Not today. <laughs>